Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of Mod Daisy, with an update video on our fabulous Daisy number 101 Model 36. And you may recall this, uh, this will be the third video we've done on this little piece. Well, we've made significant progress. We've gotten a nice wooden stock put on it. We've gotten it fire blued. We've fixed the slipping compression chamber problem. And we have fabricated a uh, Buzz Barton style fake scope out of copper uh, with a unique mounting system. We'll go into detail on that in just a bit, but let's go down to the muzzle end and start with the shot tube. This is a single shot daisy, and because it's a single shot daisy, there's no way for BBs to enter the uh, shot tube aside from being dropped down the muzzle. I discovered when I got the uh, gun apart and tried to shoot it, or when I put it back together and tried to shoot it, that BBs, if you drop this muzzle below horizontal, just roll out of the barrel. It's very vexing because my target typically is a little bit lower than I am. So the first mod we had to do was grab a couple of magnets out of a standard uh, plastic abutment daisy and crazy glue them to the base of this particular shot tube so that the BBs would actually stay put if you got off horizontal. That was a fairly quick mod to do. Plenty of people have done it and it does work. Uh, one of the things I discovered in the process of doing that is that this barrel with this seam here, you'll maybe right there where my thumbnail is, the seam is very visible. You can actually see it from inside the barrel. So we're losing, we're losing all kinds of air pressure. And that would explain why the gun is only running around 240 feet a second. Uh, the earlier guns I've worked on, I've worked on another one of these for a customer up in New Jersey. Uh, his gun, factory, was right around 300 feet a second. By the time we got a few mods done to it, it was running consistently 335, 340. So this gun's about 100 feet a second slower than I thought it would be. And I don't know quite what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll have to build a new shot tube to tighten up the bore. Because when you do the drop test with a BB, it is just absolutely it's too much daylight around the whole thing. It's almost blinding, so not a snug bore. But at least we fixed the problem with the BBs rolling out of the gun. All right, now let's take a look at the buttstock. This one turned out nice, and I'm going on a wood hunt expedition tomorrow to try to get some more curly maple in stock. I'm, I'm, I have none. I have two other buttstocks that I deem suitable, and the rest of it's going to turn into other projects. So hopefully that will be uh, productive, and we can get back on our production schedule. Now, as I mentioned, when we first brought this gun in, I was uh, fiddling around with the idea of making a Buzz Barton style scope sight. And uh, there's no glass in this. The original didn't have any glass either. It's simply a metal tube with a washer about yay in here with a 564 hole drilled in it. Well, I'm going to take this off the gun and show you how it's configured. But for the purposes of this build, we didn't do that. What we did was we let's see if we can actually get a shot through that. We put the five six. I'm yeah. going to rest it right there. Say, just don't move it. <laughs> ay, ay. All right, you see that little bitty hole? Yeah. Uh, there we are. That is a 564 inch hole. And that's the same diameter hole that Daisy uses on the original uh, Buck Jones, Buck, Buzz Barton site. So what you get is a effect of a scope, but it's not really a scope. But it is a cool look. So I wanted to see if I could fabricate one of these up that would be removable. So let me show you how this thing works. It's all half inch copper. The main body of the scope is a half inch piece of copper pipe. And the two end pieces are half inch copper pipe couplers. So this thing goes together without having to solder anything. It's a press fit affair. So you pull the top mount screw off, give it a slight twist to the left or right, and work it a little bit. But what we're gonna try to do is get one of these ends to cooperate with us and come off. And we may not get there because my hands are greasy, but I might just go get a pair of pliers and put them on it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I probably should have practiced this. Basically, there we go. The coupler will slip off. Now the coupler has a small detent and you can see it on the inside of the piece of copper and that will limit the amount of travel it has. So you have the ability to slip this over the end of the scope, sort of like a, an end cap, and then you can slide the scope out 
scope-ish. And the back panel is put on the same way. So that's a little uh, steel washer we drilled a small hole in. And this is what basically makes up the body of the rear scope. And you get the effect that, uh, this is a popular uh, fake scope mount for Daisy. You get the effect uh, of having a scope by having the 564 aperture. And that basically makes things look bigger even though it's all the same size. Now, on this one, I decided I would build a spring stop that had a uh, large enough loop to accept, accept the copper, and that would give me the forward mounting point. Uh, I believe I'm going to redo this and drill an access hole here at the base of the uh, receiver and then put a small louver up here because on the original design, it was just a tab in the front, a tab in the back. You slip the tab in the front into the receiver, you screw down the tab in the back, and it was as stable as it needed to be. That was the original design, and that's what we'll probably try to replicate. Now, the advantage with this is it, it's fairly easy to put on. You just kind of slip it in place, get it lined up, take your uh, copper on the front end, and slip it in place. And then, bam, you have a Buzz Barton style scope buddy hanging on your daisy. And shooting it is interesting. I mean, with the low speed the gun's doing, it, it's not a can cutter by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, the combination of the Buzz Barton rear scope and the uh, long peep sight front does give you a convenient aiming reference. Still working on this idea. Uh, we will eventually probably redo this all in uh, thin wall steel tubing so that we can fire blow it to match the gun. I was hoping that the copper would uh, be enough of a tr uh, contrast you know, to satisfy my artistic needs. Anyway, it does work. It's not the, it's not quite finished. But then again, whenever I'm working on BB guns, I really feel like nothing's ever really finished. I just get to a point where I have to do something else. Well, that's the update on the Daisy 101 muzzle-loading single-shot Model 36. She's all dolled up now and ready to go to town. Oh, and one last thing. This is a... Uh, the compression cup was sliding back and forth inside the receiver. So the remedy we, we applied was we opened up this groove just a bit and then laid in some low temp silver solder paste and that has secured the uh, compression cylinder inside the receiver. Uh, this is an older gun, so they actually had a separate compression chamber here. Now, on the later guns, what they did was just weld this or braze this seam shut. They didn't go to the, pro go to the uh, trouble of laying in uh, second cylinders. But that was a design change down the road many years from when this was built. Anyway, there she is in all her glory. And uh, that is, in fact, all we've got today for you kids. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy signing off.